Hey everybody, this is Allison from Alley Cat Creations. How are you? I'm going to do, this is the first time I'm doing this. What does spirit want to tell you? So this might not resonate with everybody, but we're going to focus on what spirit wants to tell you. So make sure you share, like, and subscribe. This is a general reading. So this might not be for everybody. Also, make sure to look at Alley Cat to 11 Oracle readings. That's where I only, only post my Oracle readings, nothing else. If you would like a personal reading with me, all my information will be in the inbox below. Just email me. If you have it in your heart to give me a love donation, that is also amazing. I'm having really a really bad time in life right now. So anything helps. So I appreciate it, guys. Spirit, what would you like to tell the collective? What messages? But do the collective need to hear from you, spirit? What else, spirit? What does the collective need to hear? My mind is free. If I had only known then what I know now, I would have lived differently. I have no more earthly worries. The spirit is coming in right now with a lot, a lot. We're going to start with my mind is free. You know how much I worried when I was in my physical existence. It seemed as if I spent most of my days and nights feeling anxious about the future, family, money, and the earth. Now I realize that the most of what I worried about was never a reality. And those things that did materialize I brought about myself because fear attracts negativity. If I could only go back into my body for five minutes, I'd apply this new knowledge to show you how a worry-free mind creates and attracts a worry-free life. This knowledge has completely released me from the bond of earthly concerns. This is my great lesson and one that I hope to impart to you. Give all your worries to heaven and never hang on to them. Be free of worries and you found the greatest riches of them all. So that is a message from spirit to somebody who needed that. If I had only known then what I know now, I would have lived differently. While living on earth, if I had realized just how creative and powerful my thoughts were, and their effect on another person, I would have been so much more aware of what I put out. Of course, I have regrets, but now I also realize that these were merely opportunities to grow. We never stop learning here on earth, here or on earth. My deepest wish is that for my words, you learn to treat another person as you would yourself. Let go of old earthly patterns of judgment and fear and make an effort to bring love to everything and everyone who walks upon your path. That way, when you come here, you'll have no room for regrets, I promise. So Spirit's giving us a lot of lessons.
that's a I mean, these are very impactful. Setting your mind, this is what spirit wants you to know. Set your mind free. Give love to everybody. If you're not living your best self, this is the time to live your best self. We'll clarify. I have no more earthly worries. I have to be honest with you. Life is very stressful for me. I probably should have been more open and forthcoming about my feelings because I held them in most of the time. And that was damaging for me physically and emotionally. I will admit to you now that I was deeply afraid of afraid during my life and was afraid that you and others wouldn't love me if you knew who I truly was. I felt like I was a deeply flawed and didn't want you to know. Now that I'm here, though, everything turns in a completely new direction. I now see that I had nothing wrong with me except my belief that I was flawed. And that belief caused me to act in ways that were hurtful to myself and others. I apologize for hurting you. I thank God that I have no more earthly worries and I can now express myself fully to you as I truly am. Now that I am no longer am concerned about others' judgments and don't stress about money, work, or day-to-day -day life, I'm completely carefree. So guys, like a very big takeaway from just these three cards alone is that spirit wants us to know that we need to start focusing on love and the positivity of the things and what we have and be grateful for them. That we can't have regrets. Let your mind be free because their mind is free. They're teaching us not to worry so much. Leave it in God's hands. Leave it to heaven. And the earthly worries, there's only so much you can worry about. And if you worry too much, a lot of stress and a lot of things could possibly come down. So know that this is what spirit wants you to know. Spirit, what else? Does spirit want to tell us what cards can help? How is spirit talking to us? What do they want us to know? What do they want us to work on? Let go. Take back your power and thrive. Let all just be and take your light. Stop trying so hard and breathe. Letting go does not mean jumping blindly into faith, but to release the resistance you hold about a subject so your dreams and desires can be realized. We have all hung on to a person, place, job, or idea because we think it will give us what we, what we seek. But hanging on is a result of unbalanced thinking. This imbalance has you needing compensation. You created a deficit by com compromising yourself, thinking that was the way towards your dreams. It was your choice to do that. Now it is your choice to let go and create from love instead of fear. You deserve to have what you want without compromising your truth. You're not chained. You cannot change what has occurred. However, you can change what you do for the moment on. No one has been placed upon this earth to make you happy, just as it is not your responsibility to make anyone else happy. Free yourself and everyone else of the idea that we must place others to be loved. You are loved and you are loved, no matter what has happened in your or another's life.
So guys, if you are in any kind of grieving over a, a person that has passed in your life, let go. Right, they're telling us here not to worry, to love, to let go. My mind is free of all the earthly concerns. And even though we're here on earth, we have to let go and trust in a higher source. Trust in things will be working out because that's what it's supposed to be. Spirit, what message do you have for those seeking your advice? And again, take what resonates. Spirit, what message do you have for those? I am loved beyond measure. You are loved beyond measure. They they absolutely love you from above. That never, ever goes away. Spirit, what message do you have for those seeking your advice about past loved ones? Because I'm also getting that look at how you are living your life. And when you let go of this things that don't serve you anymore, people, places, events, and you live in your authentic life, letting that go will bring you to a better balance of love. And also know that spirit's only a thought away. So if someone did pass away, you can always talk to them. They hear you. Spirit, what messages do you have? Those that have lost. What other messages? We have the void, breathe, retreat, rest, and pause. And then we have Mother Earth, ground, and support. I want to read the void first. Let there be light. And with those words, creation sprang forth from darkness and propelled all of us on our eternal paths of discovery and enlightenment. From the moment of sweet surrender, everything becomes possible, a creative dance of movement, flow and expansion once more. The sound of the vibration of chanting um at this time will connect you back to your own cosmic breath, your divine essence, that you can reach once more for the light bursting forth to a new you. Your soul is a bright sparkling bowl of luminescent light. You can be anything you want to be. Choose any reality, any theme, any time, any role to play. Consciously entering back into the void is to reach back into a rich landscape of potential dreams, as well as unfulfilled desires and wishes. Don't fear the void. It is there to help, not hinder to heal, not hurt, to create, not diminish, and to make greater, not diminished. This experience of life, 
Metatron offers safe passage through its darkness back to the light. All is well. My mind is set free. Retreat, rest, and pause. Connect back to yourself. Know that you are the light. Know that even in the darkest of times, you are and serve the light. We have Mother Earth and support. Your attention is drawn to the need to ground your energies into the earth. Think carefully about what you wish to plant this year. What areas need your focus and care? It may be spending more time with family, a new start at work, or a new home to find. Wherever you want to plant is made manifest, not just by having an idea, but it requires action, intention, and doing. The clear quartz cube depicted on the card is a sacred geometric shape linked to the base chakra and earth star. It reminds you of the need for strong foundations, thinking outside the box, and building something concrete that is real, tangible, and made possible by material means. If your struggle with bringing your dreams and ideas to reality, remember that everything is built one block at a time. All it takes is for the first block to be placed, which sets your intention and says to the wider universe that you are serious and this is real. Whether putting down a deposit on an educational course, writing a CV, or painting a room to make it into an office, you create power waves of change and growth that starts with just one tangible step. That seed only grows into a tree because it was planted. So plant something new today. Which goes into, I have no more earthly worries. You don't, you shouldn't have any more earthly worries when you pass on and, and spirit needed to do more grounding. So this is what they're asking you to do. Ground and support yourself. Retreat, rest, and pause because you need to let go. You need to let go of all the negative energy. You need to let go of places, peoples, and things that no longer serve you, that have no where in your life the need to be around you because you are growing into a better person. They're, they're trying to teach you what they, where they went wrong and where you in this present time can be going. Not worrying so much, forgiving people, loving people, not trying to have the worries and stress out so much because that bogs you down. And you are loved beyond measure. So we got tenderness, what else, spirit? That jumped out, so I'll take it. What else, spirit? What does spirit want to say? Seventh chakra. So since tenderness flipped out, the energy of tenderness activates our capacity to open our hearts and approach the world and each other with gentleness and care. Seventh chakra, the energy of the crown chakra supports our feeling of being connected to higher power and part of a larger whole. which is a, an, again, a reminder that you are a part of the universe. You are a part of the divine. You are being asked to look at things from an, uh, an, an uh, up as a soaring eagle looking down at your life. What are the things that you need to change so you don't make the same mistakes as the ones that passed on, even though now they have learned their lesson 
and they're warning you about the same things. The trivial things in life are nothing to worry about. Right, and yes, some things we do and have no choices on, but that's okay. Ground your energy, let go. Know that they're always with you. That, that's absolutely something that a lot of people forget to know. They're always with you, they're a thought away. And ask them for a sign. It might not come that day, but I know when my, my parents died, I got pennies and dimes all over the place. Um, birds and, and butterflies. Some people see numbers. Ask and you shall receive because they do come. Spirit, what is it for everybody that needs to know? What messages? Messages, spirit. No limitations. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. I know you're being told. Have no limitations. Intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek. Use that gut instinct. Fruition. Rest assured, your dreams and visions will come to fruition. Spirit. Is there any last words from spirits that are passed on that would like to communicate with those that need answers. Is there anything else that you would like to add? as a closing comment. Aw, I'm surrounded by loving animals. Aww. So, So guys, know that the ones that have passed on sending this message wants you to know that they are surrounded by loving animals, whether past, present, animals that have passed on and if you're not into animals or into things these are possibly signs that they're around our lovely pets archangel michael what prayer can you give to those to have lost a loved one for any messages or any prayers that is needed right now for the collective watching. What message spirit do you have? What prayer, Archangel Michael? Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. My prayers, thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts 
granted me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. Guys, if you want to say this prayer, please pause. Which is a beautiful prayer. Here, how are you helping those? that lost a loved one or need a, a message from a loved one. A message spirit do you have? Sovereign Queen of Maeve. Value what is sacred to you by protecting it from interference, even that which may be well-intentioned. Be compassionate, but set firm boundaries. You are going to triumph over a negative situation. It will take courage, but you have more than enough inner strength, resources, resourcefulness, and boldness to accomplish what you wish to obtain. Do not give up. You have the ability to connect with higher worlds, so open your heart and mind to the light. Sovereignty is self-possession. It is the belonging to oneself that happens eternally as we claim our being and commit to our unique life journey. True spiritual sovereignty exists outside of social mores. It is not about becoming subversive or disrespectful to others, but rather about seeking out freedom of being. This leads to you naturally becoming an active presence, which dismantles enslaving social mores and stimulates society to mature spiritually. This oracle asks you to come home to yourself again and again. Know you are strong enough to live your life and chart your course in communion with the sacred. In Sanskrit, savage is self-rule, and as meaning of Raj is also radiance. It can also mean self-luminous. Do not allow your destiny to rest in the hands of others. Recognize the light within is your true ruler. You have the power to light yourself up with spirit. Commit to what you can do and believe the realms of the divine are working with you. Do not be dissuaded. You shall be victorious. Wow. So guys, this was a message from spirit to you. If this resonated with you, that they're leaving you messages of what they want you to work on and look at, that they're surrounded by loving animals. If you use your intuition and you ground your energy, you need to let go of some things because they had to learn the hard way. I have no earthly worries anymore because it was holding them back. And if I had only known then what I know now, I would have lived differently. So they're, they're kind of asking you to start thinking about how are you living? What are you doing? And make some of those changes, letting go. Because look, their mind is now free. And they want the same thing for you. They want you to be free. They want you to live the best life you could possibly live with tenderness and knowing that you're connected to the cosmic energy of love and light, knowing that you want you ground to mother earth and that you need to retreat and rest and just take a pause to breathe. You are loved. 
and keep your eyes on your targeted intentions because you have no limitations. You're going to bring things into fruition and you're going to use your intuition, your gut instincts to achieve everything that you would like to achieve in life. So this is a short and brief message from Spirit. I hope this gave some hope to some of you and some answers on what Spirit wants you to know and how many of your loved ones are coming to connect with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to either one of my channels. I'm wishing you love and light and have a blessed day. Bye, guys.